Oh. Hello. My name is Elon O'Reilly. I'm the chief dun, of police dun, for one dun. Uh, My colleague and I just have a, a few questions. So these guys are British too. Visit to Winevale Park. Could you first tell me why you've arrested me and brought me here? I've done nothing wrong. A one thing at a time. What's your name, age, and address? Alex. Alexander Green, to be exact. I'm 26 years old, and I live not far from here. Okay, Alex. Where exactly have you been in the last few days? I was... I was in a clinic. I only got released today. In a clinic? What kind of clinic? And why? A year ago, guys accent sound kind of I was janky. in a serious car accident. The accident was so bad that I developed a mental disorder after receiving medical treatment. They thought that I should be taken to the clinic for mental illness here in Winevale. Then is that really true? Why would I lie? Take it easy, Alex. You were at the Winevale Park tonight. That right, the you guy in the there? back. I was going to meet my little sister at the park. I don't know why I can the tell which way they're. She turns sixteen. Which one they are? Um. So, we wanted to go to my parents' house. Stand there, the stander. Everything. That's what I, I mean. Celebrate my release. I've not seen my family for a year. The document here is correct. Not that guy. It? The other guy. It is. I took his that driver's guy. license and checked it against our database. The match with the fingerprint was 100% oh, okay. successful. Okay, I thought he was trying for an accent and just totally missing it. Okay, Alex, you were saying you were going to meet your sister in the park. Is she your stepsister? No, we have the same parents. Why? Am I not even Alex Green? What is it? Did Alex? I make this up? Stop right there, criminal you scum! Have siblings. <laughs> You're an only child. Excuse me. Oh, I'm... Alexander Green, born okay, no, I'm Alex of Green. February 1994. Your parents, Arthur and Megan Green, have had only one child I don't have a sister, then. so what am I... That would be you, What have Alex. I been beating myself up no about? Siblings. What am I dealing you, with? You, you're kidding me. That is not true. You stay here, Alex. We're going to go outside for a moment and contact the clinic that released you. Hey, explain this to me. What do you mean I don't have any siblings, goddammit? Huh. This just can't be true. How can you lie to someone like this? You're not seriously stupid enough to believe those two, are you? Of course not. What bullshit. You also saw Sam earlier when she was lying on the ground. Why are you sitting here so idly? Do something, Alex. Uh, damn it. Just let me think. You don't have time to think. Get up and go to the door. Listen to what those guys are saying about you. The policemen just now. They just went to contact the clinic, didn't they? And you're really going to believe them? Go to the door and listen for yourself. Kind of sounds like it. Although, I will mention... There we go. I think that they actually decided schizophrenia wasn't the right term anymore. They, like, broke it into all the different kinds of... of um, what is it? Something personality disorder. Um, dissociative personality disorder. This guy's out of his mind. He's seriously looking for a person that doesn't exist, that he thinks is his sister. Yes, Distrath is on it. There are so many crazy idiots these days. Maybe we should just lock him away so he can search for his little sister in a cold and lonely cell. This can't be true. They're making fun of me. Why don't you do something about it? I don't know what else to do. Let me help you one last time. Multiple personality Turn disorder? Maybe. Look at the table. My source is a podcast that proves not to have a lot of sources, so... That admits to it, so that's perfectly fine if I'm... I know I might be what wrong. What are you going to do? <laughs> not me, Alex. Really dark for me. You. What? It Should I do? Okay. End it. Once and for all. You can see what the world thinks about us. Aren't you tired of people just laughing at us? But I can't just shoot them. Well, if not them, then yourself. Trust me. Take the gun in your hand. I don't know. I don't think they left the gun. They can't have. You're absolutely right. There's no way. Perfectly schizophrenia causes things like hearing voices, feeling like people have a certain intent towards you, feeling like inanimate objects are observing me. you. All I ever wanted to do was be good and help people. Yes. Instead, 
All of my life, I've only been kicked and beaten down. You're Sounds right to me, but right, I'm Alex. concrete now, estimator, so what do I know? Come back. I hate the world. MPD so much. is now DID. Well, Schizophrenia is still labeled as such. Okay. And pull the trigger. I didn't click it. I didn't click it. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. Um, oh, is the game you're talking what? about, um... Where am I? Fractured? You can't remember again. No, I can't. My memory is so foggy. Okay, like let me help you. Disorder, diagnosed We're going to start quite, a little question quite a bit differently than session, even 20 years so ago. see what else you remember. Probably... Who are you? <laughs> Uh, I am Alex. Wait. Paul. Did we hear of a Paul? <gasps> Paul was the guy that killed Emily, his wife. I'm gonna say I'm Alex. Alex. Hmm. Okay. Where are you? This is... A... I don't know. I don't know. I see. Seems to be a clinic. What happened? We're just gonna go with really, really random answers. I fell asleep in my flat. Interesting. No. How many siblings do you have? I have a brother and a sister. I have a brother and a sister. <laughs> hmm. What happened a year ago? I had a car accident. Apparently, you still can't remember properly. I am your doctor. You were in the Winevale Clinic, where we recently <laughs> released you. Ah, uh, damn these headaches. I figured so I was misremembering everything. There. Uh, wait here. I'll get you some pills. I think I get an achievement for answering all those correctly, but I wanted to see what would happen if I didn't. Hello, Alex. Sam. Well, speak of the Thank devil. You. Look at who came to visit. Silly. But how can that be? Where did you come from? I was told I had no siblings. We were supposed to meet in the park. I went looking for 16 you when years you didn't old. Show up. Besides, right. what do you mean you don't have any siblings? What do you Who mean? Said that? Uh, I can't remember. My head feels so heavy. Alex, no matter what anyone says to you, you are and will always be my brother, okay? Uh, my head, please help me. Everything will be fine, Alex. Here are your pills. Nothing to wash it down with, huh? Hardcore. What is wrong with me? Let's find out. We will now dive into your thoughts, just as we did back then. Focus on my voice and let it guide you. Okay. Close your eyes and focus on your own thoughts. I thought that was going to go somewhere. Can you hear me, Alex? Oh, here we go. Yes, I can. Very good. Now open your eyes. Fuck me! What do you see, Alex? I can see the entrance to Jeez. Winevale Park ahead of me, where I was going to meet Jeez. Sam. Interesting. Try to enter the park, Alex. Okay. I can't run. We're gonna walk our way through the through the events of this traumatic evening again. We're gonna play the game again. It's just gonna start all over again. Okay, I'm in the park. I'm being called from. We're Sam. actually starting the game over again. Focus, Alex, it's not Sam calling you. That was me. Oh. What? Hello, Alex. I'm calling about an anomaly in your report. Oh. Quite urgent. Where are you right now? What kind of anomalies? I'm in Winevale Park at the moment. I was going to meet my sister Sam here. Your sister? Alex, you don't have any siblings. What are you Hi, doing? Hi, Shaggy. Anyway, could you please... Hello? Can you hear me? Come in. What the hell is going on? 95% between you and Cheese.
So, so we actually are replaying the game. <laughs> Yep, I remember this. What are you looking at? It's a computer, hun. No, you don't need to bite- No, don't- <laughs> Don't bite my cords! <laughs> oh, Hellblade is amazing. I haven't finished it yet. I need to finish it before the second- Well, I probably won't finish it before the second one comes out, because this is me we're talking about. But, I was thinking of, of streaming it, because it is- Really good. Really good. You have more love for McHale than cheese. I mean... Everyone. I got jump scared pretty bad last time we were here. Hello, Alex. Who is speaking? What? You can't even remember your own sister's voice? S -S Sam? Where are you? Come to the construction site and meet me there. I have something to show you. Okay. I'll be right there. Stream it? You must have, uh... Experience with it. It is really good. Um... Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! <laughs> I'm trying to remember... Where I have it. I played it on Xbox before. I think it might still be on Game Pass. Yeah, it's it's really like the the aesthetic of it, like that Viking look to it, it's just badass. Well, we're at the construction site. Yay. Okay, we're gonna go up. Because I haven't done that yet. I can't go up. Damn it! Curse my blindness. That is only a rock. What's this, though? Double car accident on a country road. There is a person? Why am I so blind? Where is a person? Okay, I will walk to my left. Um, I'm gonna mm -hmm. read this article. <laughs> I'm sorry, the first art the first sentence in this article is Terrible things happened today. <laughs> At around 3 p.m. in the afternoon, the fire brigade, as well as the hospital, were notified by passers-by who observed an accident. It seems the driver of a... Scratched out, scratched out. Uh, scratched out, scratched out. There was a loud bang, and the road section was enveloped in smoke. Enveloped in smoke. A few passers... A few passers-by who were out for a walk when the incident occurred immediately called the emergency services and rushed to the car. But when it's reported, the young man in his mid-twenties could be seen covered in blood from top to bottom. The passenger side was completely destroyed, but blood was dripping onto the ground. Ah. Oh. We do not want to imagine how cruelly this person died. The driver of the car was pulled out of the car as quickly as possible and tried to give first aid. It seemed too late for any hope until the driver suddenly screamed loudly and then fainted again. Immediately afterwards, the paramedics and the police arrived and cordoned off the section of road. The paramedics... Put the driver on a stretcher when suddenly an angry, middle-aged man came running. He told him that his young son had been hit by a car. One of the two paramedics ran with the shocked father. From a distance, he already recognized the stationary car and a little boy lying on the ground. Next to him was his mother, who could not stop sobbing. The man who caused the accident was standing next to it, holding his head. When the paramedic knelt down to the boy lying on the ground, he immediately noticed that the boy no longer had a heartbeat. He only shook his head briefly to tell those involved that nothing more could be done. Later, it turned out that the person who caused the accident was using a phone at the wheel and was not paying attention to the road. However, we've not been allowed to find out what happened to the ch, -ch, -ch for legal reasons. Okay, so, um, I was a person, Alex was a person who caused the accident. He was holding this up. And you guys remember that creepy guy in the train station who said they're all dead? My son, my wife. He said my daughter too, though, didn't he? He might have a daughter, though. I don't know. Dang it, I keep doing that. All right. Walk to my left, he says. Hmm. 
Hmm. My other left. Oh, I see her. That was definitely my first left. <laughs> I did that right. I definitely did that right. Sam, is that you? What was that? <laughs> uh, stop it. The fuck? <laughs> stop it. <laughs> ah! Made yourself some ramen. Nice. What just happened? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. You look familiar somehow. Have I seen you before? Is there anyone else here? Where is Sam? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> someone standing over there. Hello, sir. I don't mean to alarm you. But there's somebody standing. <sighs> okay. So no. <laughs> Easy, Alex. You're back. Don't worry. What the hell was that? Well, that was your thoughts and emotions hiding deep inside you. With each dive into your mind, we get closer to clearing your mind so that you can remember again. Oh, okay. I heard Sam's voice. And there were these strange shadows. And the guy on the other side of the bench. Don't worry, it was all your imagination. It is important that you face these things to remind yourself of the truth. I understand. <laughs> your poor you biscuity heart. The next dive, Alex? I think so, yeah. As before, focus on my Alright, so the guy who's been Close killing me are my relax. bad memories? Together with the memory of the guy who lost everything. <laughs> that really got you. <laughs> Me too, but I guess I'm maybe just more in practice right now. <laughs> A living purgatory. Accurate. Get another drink. <laughs> That's going to be a great clip. <laughs> On three, open your eyes. No. One, two. Three. Where are you right now, Alex? This part. I'm in the underground. I think in the sewers, to be exact. I don't want to explore the sewers. I already did this. Damn it. I've been waiting all night for that one part. I can see why. It's a very freaky part. That was pretty good. What were you doing down there? Fuck if I know. I heard Sam's voice and I wanted to... Wait a minute. That looks different from how I remember it. Alex, focus. What exactly were you doing down there? I... I wanted to... No. Please, sir. I don't want to come back here. Let me out. Alex, calm down. It's just an illusion. No. I want to get out of here. Help! Please, somebody, help me! Hmm. Sam? Look. Isn't it sweet how people try to escape their miserable fate? Sam, where are you? I need to get out of here. Please help me. Aw, my big brother needs help from his little sister. Isn't that funny? You've never been able to do anything yourself. You're just a pathetic loser. What are you... Sam, what are you talking about? What? Bless you. It's the truth. I can't help it if you're so blind you can't see it. You've always been a miserable Bye-bye, Skittles. No wonder you can't get anything done. You're not Sam. Sam would never say something like that to me. Oh, really? What's Sam like? Well, well... Oh, but it's still on, on Netflix. <laughs> Spit it out. Awesome. How is she? 
Online yeah. Game Pass. Yes. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I don't fucking know. I'll tell you something. I'm not that far away from you. If you manage to find me within two minutes, I'll show you the way out. Time's running. Now. Why are you doing this, Sam? Sam, I have to hurry. Oh my god, this fucking sucks. Yes, do it! Ooh, a fire. I love having Game Pass. It's just, like, really nice for... I hate things that crawl at me on the ground. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> Ugh. Fuck. What? This was the only way I could go. What the fucking shit is this? That can't be. The paths are changing. Fuck me. Tick <laughs> tock. <laughs> faster, Alex, faster. I've got to find Sam and get out of here. <laughs> Please don't wake me. Well, to be fair, babies don't ever crawl at me like that. <laughs> Tick tock, motherfucker! Oh my god, I'm so upset. Damn it, I can't do it. <laughs> Doctor, can you hear me? I just can't make it. I, I want to get the hell out of bed. Wake up. I want to wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Alex, are you all right? What happened? I was in the underground. I heard Sam again. What did she say? She... Nasty, horrible things. Within two minutes, I had to find She her, tore apart my self-esteem, Doc. It was just an illusion. Don't worry. Alex, I need you to listen to me carefully. Oh, we last will time. dive into your Yay. thoughts a third <laughs> and last time. But this time we will go so deep that you should remember again. It will probably be worse than the last two dives. Are you ready? Do I have no. any choice? Good. No. Then close your eyes and focus on my voice again. No. Everything will be fine. Worse than the last two? Ugh. Okay, Alex. On the count of three, you open your eyes again. One, Fuck. two, three. They don't want to. Where are you right now? I'm in the interrogation. Oh, room. Nothing scared me here. What are you doing here? Before I woke up in the hospital, I was arrested in the Winevale Park and questioned by the police. Why were you arrested and what did they ask you? I don't know anymore. I only saw Sam lying on the ground, and before I could reach her, I was arrested by the police. I can't remember the questions. That's not true, Alex. <laughs> How do you Not me, Alex. Me. What do you mean by we? A painful truth is always better than a beautiful lie. Don't you think? No. No, no, don't do this. Don't do this. What is it? <laughs> no. Please don't. You're cute. God damn it. I hate this so much.
Alexander Green, born on the 20th of February, 1994. <laughs> Correct. That's right. Who are you? I have some questions about your sister. Let's start straight away. Without hesitation. <laughs> How old is your sister? She... Her birthday is the day after tomorrow. We wanted to meet and, and celebrate her birthday. And how old does she become then? I... Sixteen. No. Although anymore. she sounds like she's Quite thirty. Strange, Alex. Next question: When did you last see your sister? I was supposed to meet her at the Winevale Park earlier. But when did you see her last? I don't know anymore. And are you really Alex Green? Of course I am. Okay then, Alex. Then I have one last very simple question for you. What is your sister's name? Her name is... Well, my sister's name is... Yeah, yes, exactly. What is your sister's name, Alex? Her voice is I, not 16. I... I don't know. How can you not know your own sister's name, Alex? I just don't know anymore. My thoughts are completely lost. Well, then maybe I should lock you up. What do you think about that? No, I have to see her again. She's out there waiting for me. Then tell me her fucking name. I don't fucking know. Tell me the truth, Alex. I don't have a sister. <sighs> no, I didn't want you to Alex? clip it. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Wake up, Alex. I think I can remember everything again. The recording is running. Please tell us your name, age, and what happened. My name is Samantha, and I am 28 years old. Yeah, I'm 16. Hey, everything's okay. You've got no need to panic. You're safe here. <laughs> I was walking in the Wineville Park when I suddenly noticed someone following me. I thought it was just my imagination, but then I saw a man wearing a hoodie. He seemed mentally distracted and often looked down at the ground, but he was always near me. At some point, he shouted something through the park. I couldn't understand it at first until I suddenly heard my name. I looked back and saw him running towards me. I shouted as loud as I could and told him to leave me alone. <laughs> my phone had <laughs> run out of battery, so I quickly ran to the phone booth and <laughs> called the police. This guy just kept going and locked the entrance to the park, so I was trapped. I saw an open manhole cover and climbed in, but even in the underground and in the sewers, he chased me. I... That would be terrifying. I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. When I took off my shoes in front of the other gate, I thought it would lead him on another track and waited hidden in the park until the police would arrive. But even then, I saw him looking for me. Please, you've got to lock this lunatic up. My name is Alex. Alexander Green. A year ago, my life changed suddenly. I finally had a great job, loving parents who supported me all the time. My own flat. And I was even able to buy my dream car, which I'd wanted ever since I was a little boy. I couldn't believe how good my life had become after being constantly bullied and excluded. I still managed to go my own way and didn't let others drag me down. I hardly had any friends, but I constantly gave everything to achieve my goals. But one day, I had a car accident. A pretty bad one. The doctors weren't sure at first whether I was going to survive at all. I was in a coma for a really long time. It better be a really good During twist time, at the end of this. I saw someone. A little girl. Her name was Samantha. She was like a little sister to me. I couldn't talk to anyone but her during that time. She's a she coma was the dream. one person who cheered me up when I was down. She gave me courage when no one else could. 
when I finally woke up from the coma a few weeks later, Sam wasn't there anymore. I asked everywhere, but everyone just looked at me strangely. I needed to see her again, at any cost. The day I was released from the clinic, I was on my way home, when I walked through the park. And suddenly I saw someone who looked very much like Sam. I slowly walked towards her and called her by the name of Sam. When suddenly she ran away. I, I didn't know what I was doing at that moment. I didn't hear her shout. It was just a coincidence. Sam has never existed. Has she? I was expecting to get more details about the car crash. Is a two-man team with somebody brought in for music and art. I don't know. It did feel like a lot of unanswered questions. But maybe I just didn't play enough. Like, find everything. The car crash is what causes psychosis. Yeah, it seems to. I just, the, um... I <laughs> like psych, you thought it would be more interesting. <laughs> I feel like I missed something. But the scares were fantastic. The sounds were really good. The story could have been a bit better. It did look pretty great. Really liked the sound design. That was really well done. <clears throat> it always got me really good. <laughs> Damn. We got some good clips out of this too. <laughs> 